Hello everyone, welcome to quantifiers again. So let's do a basic set of roots uh, based on roots which came in CAT 2019 in the morning slot. The optimum time to do this set is 6 minutes. Uh, for someone who is very good at DILR, uh, he or she might take 4 or 5 minutes, 4 minutes approximately. Uh, it's a immediate moderate level set. So this is the set that is in front of us. So what does the set say? The set says the figure below shows the street map of a certain region. This is the street map with the street intersection marked from A through I. A se I the kuch street se hai bas. A person standing at an intersection can see along the straight lines to other intersections that are in the line of sight and all other people standing at these intersections. Uh, for example, a person standing at G can see all the people standing at B, C, E, H, F, K. G wala, B ko, C ko, F ko, E ko, H ko and K ko, sab ko dekh sakta hai. Which means whosoever is in the way, basic si baat to hai ki jo bhi raste mein aata ho sab ko dekh sakta hai. Also, in particular, the person standing at intersection G can see the person standing at E, irrespective of whether the person is standing at an intersection F. Yani jo aapka G wala person hai, वो E को भी देख सकता है irrespective F पे कोई खड़ा हो या ना हो this means if there is there are three slots and someone is standing in between it won't matter कि ये इसको देख सकता है नहीं देख सकता he, the person will be able to see him or her so this is the information given to us now let's try it and read it let's carry the conditions six people are standing at intersection no two people are standing at same intersection the following additional facts are known first X, U, and Z are standing at the three corners of a triangle formed by a three street segment. So, corner concept of a triangle we see that either it is BFG triangle or BCG triangle. So, these two are our triangles. Hai. So, X, U, Z, X, U, Z, or X, U, Z, anything is possible. Okay. Uh, let's see, keep. Let's take only one case. That X, U, Z, I have written in and uh, why I am not taking x in between? If I x ko yaha pe leta hu, if I see the other condition, x can only see u and z. Second condition says x ko sirf u or z dikhte hain. Lekin agar x ko main yaha rakhunga, to iski liye main ye root, ye root, ye root, aur ye root ya charo root iske liye band kar dunga. Main kisi se kisi na kisi tarikhe se. Aur mujhe zada adjustments karni padegi. To usko avoid karne ke liye, I'll just assume ki x hamara yahi pe hai. So let's take x. U, Z. Let's take this case and see how we proceed. Y can see only U and W. X can see only U and Z. Y can see only U and W. So U is here and Y is here and W is here. Which means Y is here and W and W is here. If I keep Y and W is here, then it will be wrong because X cannot see anyone else. So Y and W. U sees V standing. Okay. Uh, upon this point, another point that we can say that because U Y can see it, so this is also not possible. So this is not the possible case that we keep U here and U in parallel. We keep two people here. This this is not a possible arrangement from here only. So let's try to change something. Let's keep X here. Let's keep keep U here and let's keep Z here. Now I can only see U and W. So y can only see u and w, so y ko hum yaha rakh dete hai, w ko hum yaha rakh dete hai. u sees v standing in the next intersection behind z. u sees v standing in the intersection behind z, yani ki v jo hai, ho yaha pe aayega. Thik hai. w cannot see v or z. w cannot see v or z. If this condition is automatically getting satisfied, no one among the six is standing at d. So, so this means that this is our final arrangement first uh, that we have made. So as you can see, we have reached our conclusion very quickly. Uh, not a very difficult set as we can say. So let's see the questions once. So the questions are, so the first question says who is standing at the intersection A. So intersection A, there is no one. Who can we see? We can see Z and U. So only U and Z, this is the third option. Kindly ignore this error. What is the minimum number of street segments that X must cross to reach Y? X is here, Y is here. So he can go to this way, in this way he is crossing three streets, three lines. 
or he can go in this way one and two so he is crossing two lines through this so basically two lines are the minimum root and minimum number of intersections i can see should a new person stand at d who among the six should see she so she c yani ki agar koi d pe khada hoga to usko kaun kaun dekhega it is either x and w so which is option number 3 w and x only so this completes our set let's uh, do another set now